Colleen Hoover has just come out with a new book. It's called Reminders of Him. I read it. We're going to talk about it. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Amber Elise. I love talking about books. If you do as well, then you have come to the right place. Today is an exciting day. We have a book review, not only a book review, we have the first 2022 new book release book review and it is on a very highly anticipated book and that is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Just a reminder, I always do a spoiler free discussion and then we get into the spoilers. Let us begin. So what is this about? It is about Kenna. Kenna is our main character, one of our main characters, and she just got through serving prison for five years. A very horrible incident happened that she was the cause of. At the beginning of her sentence, she gave birth to a child, Diem. Now that she's out, she really wants to be able to have a relationship with Diem. So she moves back to the town where the incident happened and where Diem lives. And most of the people in Kenna's town know what she did and they are not pleased that she's there. And the guardians of her daughter certainly do not want her there. So she doesn't feel very welcomed. It's hard for her to get a job and she's pretty much alone until Ledger comes along. He owns a bar, he's well known in the town. Most importantly, he has a connection with Diem, Kenna's daughter. Ledger, of course, has mixed feelings about Kenna, but as he gets to know her, they get closer and there's a lot to worry about with all the history that Kenna has with the people in the town, her daughter's new parents. Ledger and Kenna's bond may have to be non-existent and Kenna has to see if there is any way that her mistakes can ever be forgiven. So I ended up enjoying this way more than I could have possibly imagine. A lot of these popular TikTok books and book talk books have not been my favorite in the past couple of months. So I was a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. But this ended up being a pretty refreshing read. And the tears, the tears that came out of my little eyes after reading this were unexpected. And I'm glad that I read it and I want to read it again in the future because I want to analyze things a little bit differently. So some cons surrounding this book. The ending was not bad. It wasn't. I think there are some people who were not okay with it. I'm fine with it, but I do not think it necessarily flowed with where the story was going. Or maybe it's that I don't feel like it's super realistic given what we were provided throughout most of the story. So there's that. The whole book was kind of predictable, more so in the beginning though. As the book went on, even if things were predictable, things may have turned left a little bit, but I would say the biggest predictable parts happened towards the beginning. There was a weird part in between the middle and the end where the book got pretty slow and it took me a second to get through that part. But after that, it picked up again. But that concludes my cons, didn't really have many. The pros of this book, well, I love a good emotional book and this one hit that target for me. I did not expect to be so emotional, but oh my goodness, there were such great heartbreaking moments. You're dealing with such a touchy topic and you see so much grief, but understanding, but anger. And I don't feel like it was a forced tearjerker in a lot of the moment. I really like the dynamic between Kenna versus the town. I haven't read every single Colleen Hoover book. I think I've read four or five of her books. And to me, this is different than what I've read from her in the past and a good different. Those are my pros. Was this book worth the hype? Yes, it was. And this was a great start to 2022 new book releases. So once again, yes, it is worth the hype. So for my rating, four out of five stars. This was such a different journey to go on, but it was a good one nonetheless. And that concludes my spoiler-free discussion of Reminders of Him. I certainly recommend it, especially if you're a Colleen Hoover fan. You are likely to devour it quickly and you'll definitely want to have it in your collection. But now it is time to get into the spoilers. So if you have not read this book, this is where we shall part. But once you have read it, come on back so we can talk about all these spoilers. Let's go. Okay, the spoilers. What do you all think of of Kenna's crime. Obviously it wasn't intentional, but it was extremely negligent. On the side of the actual accident, I have mixed feelings. Look, they were both drinking, they were both high. It was his car and he let her drive. So for me, it's like, they both made a poor decision with that because it can lead to what actually happened. So for her, it was a choice that she made and it was wrong, but it was also his choice. Now her just leaving him was hard for me to take. I get what her letter said about how she thought he was dead and how she basically lost her mind when she thought he was dead. I get where her mindset is, so that helped, but knowing that he was still alive and alive for what was it, six hours? I do wish she would have done something. I tried to feel his heartbeat or I don't know how his body was completely positioned, but something else 
almost she just felt that and she gave up. I don't know. But I also don't know what it's like to be in that mindset in that situation. I don't understand though how it helped his parents that much. They were brutal to her. I mean, I get that they were upset, but to me, they were almost extreme at times. In the way I get it, like you're going to take my child's life and then want access to the child that we raised. No, not going to happen. So with them being so harsh, and even though I wanted them to let her see Diem, I could not fathom how them reading Scotty's letter just changed everything for them. They all became a big, happy family. That made zero sense to me. I could understand them reading Kenna's letter and slowly being optimistic to having Kenna be a part of Diem's life. I don't get how they became this happily ever after family. I don't. I would have been like, how do I know this is not just a manipulative tactic? How do I know that she didn't make all of this up? Like, how do I know? I don't even know her. Of course, having a happier ending was nice. It was sad throughout the entire book. So I was happy it worked out. And for Kenna and Leisure, as the book went on, I was really hoping that they weren't going to end up together. I would have loved it more if they became best friends. And maybe she went in the direction of dating Rowan. I thought that would have been excellent. Or maybe her not dating anybody. But it does kind of bother me that she's with her boyfriend's best friend and she killed her boyfriend. But it is what it is. Things happen. Who am I to judge? But I will say, all these different feelings that I have, I loved. I love that this book did that to me and that I was so torn back and forth with everything because that means it was making me think. Overall, this book got to me in so many different ways. All right, that concludes my book review of Reminders of Him. What a ride, you guys. If you read this book, what was your rating for it? Curious minds would like to know. Until we meet again, go read.